just picked this up only the other day. I have used a couple of items from the Sally Hughes skincare range um, and I've actually bought the lighter version of this cream for um, my daughter to use on her skin. Um, I've got the rich version because my skin's on the drier side. I also have their, what's it called? It's like an exfoliant, but it's in a liquid form. Um, and I really enjoy that. It's really good for um, if your skin's looking a little bit dull, a little bit tired, and you want it to be a little bit brighter. Um, yeah, I really recommend it. I really recommend this cream. And like I say, I literally just picked this up yesterday. I bought it. It's available. Um, you can buy it from Revolution. Um, or you can actually get it from Superdrug. And they had, I think it was like a third off. I thought I'd also share a couple of my favourite makeup products. Seems that I um, was chatting about skincare. Also, another thing. In Superdrug, they have this range called Vitamin E. It's really, really good. They have skincare, body care. Really recommend their facial serum. Really, really good. Um, so I picked this one up yesterday as well. And this is my second one of these, except this time I've gone for the Cosmic Black. I think the one before I had was still the Sky High, um, but it was in like a metallic, it was in like a metallic lilac um, wand and um, it was the black colour, but I was just interested to know the difference. So I picked up the Cosmic Black, love that mascara. So that one, and then on my, for my face, for foundation this is the foundation i use which is a rimmel one and it's the kind and free one and i love it this is my third tube i think i've used it for a while now and it is lovely really 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 good and just for reference i use the shade 160 vanilla and um there's a little bit more info there but if you like a foundation that gives a nice amount of coverage without it looking too heavy on the skin, really recommend this one. And it's really moisturising as well. So it's not a matte foundation. I don't like using matte foundations. Um, much prefer to have a more of a natural glow. It says there it's a moisturising skin tint foundation. Yeah, so it's definitely not a heavy one. Really like it. Really recommend that one. I just found the one that I was chatting about in my makeup bag. So I'm ready to put this one in the bin now. Um, but this was the one that I tried first of all after reading some really re good reviews about the Sky High Mascara. And yes, yeah, so this is the what it looks like in the black shade. I don't think it's got it written on the, on there, is it? But anyway, I'm going to try this one now. Everybody has their job, nine to five, and getting drained. They settle for second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring, I hold my if the wind's gonna make this little chap um, really awkward to listen to um, but we've got up we've got out it's lovely beautiful sky the sun is out it's a little bit cool but it's perfect for a walk we're heading to the shops we're also gonna pop into the charity shop just wants to look at the books I want to look at the books and yeah I bring you along with us 
every fall learn to grow and keep myself tall would it hurt Can you put it back? Because I just knocked. Yeah, that's all right. Look at the egg. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Can I run over to Dad? Yeah, where is he? Does anyone actually have these candles? They actually look really cool. I like the idea that, well, they're just going to last for a long time and all you need to do, it looks like there's like a little um, remote in there. So maybe you can change like how bright and how long that they glow. But they're going to last obviously a lot longer. Let me know if anyone uses these. How much is this set? This set is $10.99. Oh, that is so sweet. Bunnies on a swing. Oh, look. <laughs> They're on a carrot swing. Love it. What else have they got? Let me pop that back in there. That one is $8.99. And I got a really nice egg wreath and some other spring stroke Easter decoration bits. That's really pretty, I like that one. That wreath is really nice. We are back from our lovely walk. We've had some lunch. We went out all in all for about an hour, which is pretty good going. And I forgot to pick up my camera when we went into the charity shop because I spotted this book here in particular and just got really excited. So because this is on my to read list um, and Jessie got some books as well. And so I've just, like I say, we've had our lunch. The girls are in the kitchen playing. Um, made myself a nice fresh coffee from the machine and I thought I'd just show you quickly while they're in there the books that I got so this one here once upon a river I was gonna say once upon a time then once upon a river and um, this has been on my to reads list for quite a while actually so let me know if you've read if you've read any of these ones and then of course I had to pick up this one Daphne du Maurier Jamaica Inn. I think, well, I'm just glancing over now. I picked up Rebecca. What's the other one I'm thinking of? What's the other one that I'm thinking of? Um, maybe it's My Cousin Rachel. Did I pick up Rebecca or My Cousin Rachel? I can't remember now. Um, I didn't realise, actually, how many books... Um, Oh, here's all the books. Rebecca, my cousin Rachel. Maybe I picked up 
Maybe I could Rebecca. The final book is The Catch by T.M. Logan. And I've had this on my to reads list for a little while. And I have not read The Holiday. Has anybody read The Holiday? I don't know if what other books. Sometimes I do enjoy having a little look inside when it says other books by the same author. Um, but this this book does not even look like it's been read. Literally looks brand new. I mean, it has got its. It looks like it has been read, I guess, from the spine. But when you look at it, like side on, does not look like it's been read. the The fact that it's a paper, um, a paperback, is in such good quality. Like some of these definitely don't look like they've been read. Especially this one. I don't think this one has been read. Literally looks brand new. Um, but I got those three for a pound, which is really good going. This particular charity shop that we go to is so good, so good in terms of um, their pricing and the range of books that they have. So, yes, happy that I got them. And then I picked this up in there as well. This was a pound. I don't have this Jamie Oliver cookbook. Um, and I quickly flipped through whilst I was... Um, in in the charity shop and there was a couple of recipes that i really like the look of which i'm probably not going to be able to find now um one of them i think was either a moussaka or a lasagna but it looked delicious it looked really yummy oh i love gnocchi oh squash sauce yum yum I mean, things like that. I'm just never going to be cooking that. <laughs> Beef Wellington. Um, I'm sure it's probably very nice if you like that. But um, <gasps> best cornbread. I don't think I've ever had cornbread, you know. Um, anyway, so I did pick that up. And the fact that I got that, such a lovely cookbook, hardback cookbook. And I got it for a pound. A pound. Um, there was a couple of other Jamie or the I struggled to get my words out then. There were a couple other Jamie Oliver books, but um, I thought I would just I'd keep keep it at that for our book haul because I thought that was pretty good going. Seems that all of that was two pound, and then the charity shop that we go to this particular one children always are able to pick up a book for free and um whilst we were looking through the books these were the books that we went we didn't realize it was also three for a pound for the children's books jesse wanted to get this one i don't know if it's if you can tell but it's um it's like a touchy feely book she really liked but it had that really nice um velvety feel to it so we picked up this book and then I saw this one, which is Quinton Blake, Loveykins. I don't remember this, um, but I just love the illustrations. Um, but it reminded me of like an old, an older book that I would have had when I was younger. Mind you, it's quite new there. Um, but yeah, I love anything that's Quinton Blake. So picked that one up. So these three were for a pound and then we did, which we didn't realise. And then when, when we got up to, to pay, that's when um, he said we could go back and get one for free. Um, so that's when Jesse picked this one, not me. Um, but this, who is, oh, David Melling. We have another one of these Hugless Douglas books and I think it's called The Big Hug. Jessie absolutely loves that book. And at the end of the book, there's all these different, there's lots of different characters. Oh, basically like this. And it shows you all the different types of hugs. So she's going to love this. I spotted it and said, look, we haven't got this one. So um, I'm looking forward to reading these new books with her this week. Because it's, it's actually half time this week. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to pick up the camera and film some of our week because we have a fun week planned we've got a couple of fun things planned and i just thought it'd be nice 
to share um, what we get up to. So yeah, all in all, I think that was a good trip to the charity shop. say hi it's about half past 10 i have just got my washing it's due to finish any minute and i thought i'd pop on really quickly because the girls have gone upstairs and um i'm gonna pop out and hang washing and then we need to pop out the girls have got a haircut and then i'm not sure what we're gonna do this afternoon actually um yeah not sure yet but i thought i'd quickly show you how i'm getting on with my scrappy wrist warmers i filmed a little intro yesterday morning um of these mitts these are the everything november mitts i think i think that's the name of the pattern i will leave a link down below and i have finished the thumb um gusset i just need to finish i've just got a few more rounds to finish off the main part of the wrist warmer and then I just need to pick up the stitches and do the rib um, for the thumb and then they're done. I love how scrappy these look. Love them and I love that I purposely made sure I didn't match them and um, I've got all my gingerbread goodies in here, all the yarns. I did a really sweet little gingerbread swap with a friend on Instagram and I sent her some gingerbread yarns that I had and then she sent me some of the gingerbread yarns she had so it's a a mismatch of different yarn dyers different colorways um I absolutely love them and my hands get so cold so hoping to get them off the needles and all the ends sewn in hope hoping to get that done today that is the plan and I finished Jessie's socks I put a post up on Instagram last week and um, I absolutely love this yarn. This was sent to me um, from a lovely friend on Instagram and um, I'm not actually sure of the, I can't remember the name of this particular colourway or the yarn dyer. Um, no, um, no, can't remember. But I know that the toes um, are by Nora George and they have a gold Stellina and the colourway is actually mulled wine. That's why she sent it to me and she put this yarn in as well and it's just beautiful. And I did a magic heel on the back, just something really simple. They didn't take long at all to make and especially while her feet are so small um, and you know they're growing so i thought these are the type of socks that i think um were just perfect for little ones with this type of heel the magic the magic heel i'll leave a link to this pattern to this heel everything else is just a plain um it's just like plain knit um and i didn't want to do a pattern i wanted to keep it plain because the yarn's so pretty that i think sometimes when you have yarn that's really pretty and colourful like this sometimes if you knit a pattern I think sometimes it can be too busy and I think sometimes it's really nice just to knit a plain sock and just enjoy the yarn so that is what I've done there uh what else was I going to chat to you about 
I know that I said I was going to film a, uh, what did I say? Well, I can't remember what I called it now, but I was going to film a episode. No, because that's not a podcast, but I was going to film a video chatting about my planners, my journal, and I didn't get around to doing it. And apologies for that, because I know lots of you message saying that, um, or you responded and replied saying that you'd love to see them. So I'm hoping this week, um, because I'm going to pick up the camera every day this week, film little snippets, and I'm hoping that I can share a little bit about my um, my setup and what I'm using um, because it's I love watching these videos, seeing people's diaries, how they set them up, their planners. Um, I'll quickly, really quickly chat to you about the three um, diaries, journals that I'm using. I'm using the Hobonichi Weeks and I've got the Mega this year. This is my first time using the Weeks and the the difference between the normal Hobonichi Weeks and the Mega is at the end of the actual book, at the end of the planner, there's lots and lots of pages. And what I've done already is I've started to mark them out and I've got a section for gardening, a book log, um, projects. I've got one for like beauty, um, TV, movies. And then in here is basically what I'm, I'm keeping a track of appointments, dates, special events I need to remember, anything I need to remember for the children for school, if I work extra hours, if I've got anything planned, if I'm meeting a friend. Um, so that is that one and that's kind of like what would get put in my handbag and carried around with me. Next up I have a Hobonichi A6 Techno. Last year I had the A5 Cousin Avec, I think it was, where the year is split into two and the A5 size was just too big, way too big. I didn't even um, open up the second half of the year, the book. Um, it was way too big. So I'm really happy that I've gone with the A6 and I'm happy that I've gone with the Techno. Techno? Techo? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. It's not called Techno. <laughs> it's called Techo, I think. Um, because it doesn't have, this doesn't have the weeklies in. It has the monthlies at a glance and then it goes into the dailies. Um, and I think someone's coming to interrupt us now. Are they? Or someone answering the door? Um, and then finally, I've got my traveller's notebook. And in here, I have, again, I can, I'll set the camera up because sometimes it's easier for you to see things over, like overhead, isn't it? Um, and I have like a weekly diary really so anything I want to remember like memory keeping for that particular day and then I've got a plain page on the other side there which I can um, stick stickers in photos um, that that kind of thing and then I've got a plain insert and I've just decorated the front there with rolled down stickers um, but there's lots more I can show and chat about about this one um, and then I did change the cord because I wanted it to be a different colour. Um, it did come with a brown one, but I bought a pack. But again, I can chat about that another time. And you might have seen from the intro that I filmed this morning, I um, read a poem from this beautiful book. I got this with my Christmas money. And I don't know if you have seen any of Angela Harding's beautiful artwork absolutely stunning and I love that you can enjoy this all through the year I don't plan on reading it all in one go I plan on trying to prolong that enjoyment so at the start of each season I'm going to read um, the section so I've already read early spring and then I did start to read spring um, but I love the illustrations absolutely beautiful really gorgeous so anyway 
I think we're going to be interrupted now, so I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope that you enjoy spending the week with me and seeing what I get up to. And I will speak to you soon. Just finished the last of this lovely jam that I got when I went to the Bath Christmas Market. Really delicious, really, really delicious. So if this is available near you and um, you see it, I did spot them. I did spot this range, Fruits of the Forage, um, at so our local funny. National Trust um, place. So they are probably in quite a few of them, to be fair. Um, but yeah, yummy, yummy. So my next one, I can't remember what the next one it was. What flavour was the next one? I'm going to have to go and hunt now and find it. Found it. Oh, yummy. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. So that's going to be the next one. Wish I could get this label off and put it in my journal. That would be really nice. I don't know how you'd get that off. Apart from putting like a wet cloth on top of it to make it go all soft and then trying to peel it off. Well, Maybe if I soak it, Jessie, can, can you? I reckon if I soak that in the water, that might slide right off. I'm going to try it. If it works, I'll let you know. And if it doesn't work, I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Right, is this going to work? Jessie did try peeling off. I could do with a tripod. Oh. Mum, why are you not rubbing it with your finger? Oh, oh, oh. Can we do it? Can we do it? Jessie, you hold the camera, love. That's it, can you get the camera on that? We did it, we did it. Worked. So we can Hopefully dry we this. Focus. We can dry this and um Mom, why is it's it's not, why is it not focusing? There. I know a little bit of it's a little bit damaged, but that's right. We got that we got that off. Don't worry about that now. Don't worry about those bits around the side. But at least we try. We did, but it worked, didn't it? So I'll pop this in the sunshine. It'll dry up. Oh, can I have a version? You can have, yeah. And then I'll be able to put that in my journal. <laughs> I can't, I can't help but say it with a bit of a West Country accent, but there you go. Mum, I have to talk about you, boy. What was? What did you just say? Happy Valentine's time Day. Oh, babe, thanks. Oh. Love them. Do you want me to help them snip the ends off? Should we snip those ends off? Oh, God, look at those ends. They look a little bit sharp, don't they? Should we go and pop... My scissors. Oh, babe, we'll use the scissors in the kitchen. You don't need to use those scissors. Okay. And then should we put them in a, in a vase? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Come on, then.
No. Why don't you? We popped into a couple of charity shops and these are the books that we picked up. The first two books I picked up from the Oxfam charity shop and I can't remember what bookshop we popped in where Jessie got this book. Um, but this is The Salt Path and I have wanted to read this book for quite a while. It's been on my to reads list for a while now actually. And the front cover is just beautiful, isn't it? And you might recognise that this cover was designed, um, the artwork for this cover, should I say, was created by Angela Harding and you would have seen that I showed her book that I'm currently reading throughout the year um, and uh, she's also done the artwork for The Wild Silence and then the newest book which um, came out last year um, is Landlines and um, by Raina Wynn and the Landlines, I mean this front cover and also the Wild Silence are both absolutely stunning and the Landlines one is gorgeous. Um, I did see that one when we went to Bristol and I think I filmed it actually when we visited the Waterstones in Bristol. It was really lovely. Um, and of course, this is based around where I live. So it's just lovely. I can't wait to read that. And then, and I paid two ninety nine for that one. And then this one here I saw, um, I'm slowly collecting the all the lisa jewel books because she is one of my favorite authors and i know she's got a new book out this year so i'll definitely be joining the pre-orders for that one um but i've not seen this one before i met you it's quite a chunk of a book and this one was 1.99 so those two and then jesse got this one clemo the cornish cat so cute and she paid 30 pence out of her pocket money for that one is that really cute i love the illustration actually read that by myself yeah it's so sweet and look at the seagull it's really funny the seagull is trying to get the scone look scone or scone what do you call it scone 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 <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I, I say either, really. What do you say, Jessie? A scone or a scone? Scone. A scone. Yeah, I'd probably say scone now I think about it. And um, So, we... it reminds me of a skeleton. A skeleton? What, the sound of a scone, scone or a scone? Scone, skeleton. Oh, okay. Scone. It begins with a s, doesn't it? Um, and I always have my jam first, scone. then my cream. Scone. We have a exciting trip planned. We are going to go and visit Greenway, which was the holiday home of Agatha Christie. Dead Man's Folly and what was the other book? Dead Man's Folly and Five Little Pigs and Ordeal of Innocence were all written at Greenway. Um, I've got this copy, which is Dead Man's Folly. It's pretty cool to be able to um, 
take this with me to Agatha's house. So that is coming in my bag. And of course I will film little snippets and you can see, hopefully I'll be able to allow, I'll be allowed to film. Um, and yeah, I will take you with me. I'm also putting it in my bag for the car. I've got this book, which I'm enjoying. I'm only a couple of chapters in, really enjoying that so far got my coffee there it's got nothing in it but when I get to the coffee shop I can um I can get them to put the coffee in there and my favorite drink at the moment is a mocha an oat mocha um I've got hat I've got my um well fingerless mitts and I don't know if I've actually shown this but this is what I made at Christmas um, I don't think I've shown it. I did show it when, through Vlogmas, but I don't think I've shown it since it's been finished. I haven't blocked it yet, so it does need blocking. So it does curl ever so slightly. But when it's wrapped around you, nobody knows that you've not um, blocked it. But anyway, that's coming along as well. So let's pop that one in there.
would have seen from yesterday's vlog that we went to visit Agatha Christie's Holiday Home, which is owned by the National Trust now. The family very kindly donated the property and all its contents and the grounds and it's called Greenway. Have a look, Google it and have a look if you've not already had a look, but it is just magical there. We absolutely loved visiting it. Um, first time visiting and I feel a bit embarrassed to say that I didn't realise how close we were to it. Um, because I've wanted to visit Greenway, well, way before Covid. Um, and for some reason, I don't know why we thought it was further than what we thought. But anyway, just to give you an idea of the, the scale of it. Um, so you've got the house here. There's lots of lovely walks and we took the walk down to the boathouse and I did film a little bit inside the boathouse, um, the view from the boathouse. And um, unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film inside the actual property, but I was allowed to take pictures. I'm just chatting to you quickly because Jessie has a couple of friends coming over in a little bit for a little play day. It's the last day of um, our half term. It's grey, it's wet, it's like timed it perfect. Um, yeah, so, and then obviously you have the shop, the stables, the cafe, the staff, the, vis um, the staff and the volunteers were so friendly and helpful. They were lovely. Um, definitely want to go back again in the summer. Um, yeah, it was just absolutely fantastic. So, um, you'll laugh because um, the lady, when we first got into the house, the lady gave this little um, activity trail to Jessie and then um, Isabel came along and um, she wasn't as interested, bless her. Um, and I just said, could I do it? <laughs> so um, we had to find these items. Um, there was kind of like an item in each um, room and um, she soon helped me. So um, yeah, it was good. We really enjoyed it. Um, and then on the back, if you want to turn it into a frog, you can turn it into a frog. There's like a little um, diagram there for origami frogs. And Isabel went through a phase when she was a bit younger, making lots of these origami frogs. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there seems to be like a very, very subtle, like alarm going off. And I don't know where where it's going off. I've tried to have a little look, but it almost sounds like it's coming from my Alexa, but I don't know. Um, now, I did pop in the shop. Um, I popped into, right, let's start off with this one first. So I popped into the secondhand bookshop there. So they, a lot of the National Trust properties all have their own secondhand um, books. Normally they're in, well, Saltram, they have them in the stables. Um, at Greenway, it looked like it was like the stables had been converted. Um, they, the bookshop was also in there and the paperbacks were a pound. And they have like a donation box there. Some National Trust, uh, some National Trust properties do have somebody in there with a till, and you know you can go up and purchase them that way. But quite a lot of them will just have a donation box there for you to put your money in. Um, and I think the hardbacks were only a couple of pound, I think. But I had a look, um, and I picked this one up because I am still yet to read the flowers in the attic. And when I saw um, this one and it said that it's the prequel to flowers in the attic, I thought I was, I'd pick it up because I've not seen this on my travels. Um, but I guess now I'm going to have to look for these other ones within the series, aren't I? So I got that one for a pound and then I couldn't have not got nothing in the actual shop itself. They had such a lovely selection of Agatha Christie books in there. Um, I definitely wanted to come away with a magnet. And this is what um, Agatha used to say about Greenway, that it's the loveliest place in the world. And it really is. It's so beautiful. It's, um, we've probably visited all in all 
I mean, we've been National Trust members for many years and we've only probably visited about 10 properties within that time. And I have to say that this one is definitely my favourite. Definitely. So I got that one. That was £3.50, that one. And then they had at the teal point these beautiful leather um, bookmarks. This one is two fifty. They had them in different colours and it's just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So I got that colour and I picked this one up. And I saw this on Emma's podcast a while ago, actually. I think it was one of her podcasts or her vlogs. I love Emma's channel. Lulu loves crochet. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. Um, but this one, it was never actually finished. I, is that what I read? was never finished and published but she started writing it um to raise money for her local church i think that's correct i'll have to reread it anyway so um i picked this one up and you have the option of having it stamped um to say that you actually bought it at greenway which i think is really special really special um so absolutely beautiful keepsake book definitely would not be getting or passing this one on i'm going to keep and cherish this one very happy lovely lovely day just about to put these in the oven i have done eight cupcake shrug muffins because i had a little bit left over because last time um it was too much for this silicone tray for the banana bread so i didn't put as much as the mixture in this time normally i use a metal loaf tin and i've got these um paper inserts but um last time i did bake the banana bread i did put it straight into here so i do know the idea is you can but you know it's a pain in the bum getting it out so i'm trying it with the paper just to see if it comes out easier because i already got them um and if i'm honest with you i'm not that keen on on this is the first time i've had something like this where it's rubbery the silicone um I'll see how this turns out, but if not, I'm, I am going to go just buy a new metal loaf tin. Um, because like I say last time, 
I struggled to get in the banana bread out of it. But what I'm going to do is I've got some demerara, dark demerara sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Um, it just gives it like a nice little crunchy texture to it. So I'm going to sprinkle it on top of the banana bread loaf. And I'm going to put it on top of the, the cupcakes as well. We are back from the food shop. You would have seen that I have just whipped up a banana loaf and some cupcakes. Whilst we were at the, um, it was really busy actually, the food shop. Um, I don't know about you. Do you like doing the food shop? Don't you like doing it? Do you go out to, do you do it? Or do you have it delivered? We've had it, we did go for a phase of having our food uh, food shop delivered, but we um we go to we go out now we go to aldi we used to get all our food from tesco's but we do have to pop to the supermarket every now and then um like a tesco's a morrison's or a sainsbury's or something like that just to pick up some items that we can't get in aldi but most of our food comes from there um and they had this the other week actually and it was still there on offer so i picked it up i have tried the other one which is, I've tried the blue box, which I think is their evening one, which is vanilla and nutmeg. That's really nice. And I've had the yellow box, which is the biscuit one. And that's nice, but I've not tried this one. And see, as, seeing as I love toasted jam, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I also got the last little bunch of daffodils. They are definitely one of my favourite flowers. So I've got the last bunch. So I'm going to put them in this jar and then whilst I was there they had a few different bulbs on offer and I love these pom-pom ones I adore them my gran always used to grow dahlias in her garden so I'm going to give that a go this year um, but for the meantime whilst I'm waiting for the the stuff to finish in the oven I think I'm going to sit down I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea um, and then I will pop back in a bit banana bread is out and it came out a lot easier from the silicone dish um, of having the paper in it um, whereas like I say last time I really struggled so I think for the time being I'm going to carry on using this rather than go out and buy a metal one um, whilst I've still got these papers I've still got a few left so but I only have one of these left. <laughs> Everyone's had some, um, some have had two, um, but I will wrap, I'll let this cool down and then I'll wrap it up and then um, we'll be able to enjoy this over the weekend and into next week. So it won't last long because there are, there are five of us in the house. So, but the children absolutely love it. Um, and relax, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and I thought I'd just pop on now because I'm gonna close the, the vlog up for the for the week and I'm gonna sit now, I'm gonna enjoy a cup of tea and uh, one of the little banana cupcakes that I made. Jessie's already had two. Um, probably not the best idea seeing that it'll be tea time soon, but anyway. Um, it's been really lovely picking up my phone filming little snippets that we've done this week with you it's been really lovely so thank you so much if you've taken the time to watch the weekly vlog um it'd be lovely if you leave a comment like subscribe um it just helps my channel grow i'd really really love to be able to hit 
10,000 subscribers. I seem to get close to reaching it and then for some reason my count goes down again. So, um, but it'd be lovely if you are watching it and if you're not already subscribed and, and you'd like to subscribe, that'd be really cool. And I will see you in the next vlog. I'm hoping to get a podcast out next. So keep a lookout for that, hopefully in the next week or so. And then I will probably aim to do some more vlogs because it's lots of fun picking up the camera and filming um little snippets so but anyway keep a look out for the podcast and i will see you soon bye